for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Just extreme weather conditions really across the country, Alana. You're right, and you just talked about that average, Glenn. I believe 70 is what we see every year, so the fact that we're that close at this point in the season, alarming. Okay, we also feel like February and look like December. Live view from Little Cottonwood Canyon, where we've got snow on the road and the sign shows that the canyon's closed due to avalanche mitigation. That was the case today, didn't open, second day in a row, and it's not a surprise. This is heavy, wet, late season snow. An avalanche warning has been issued for the Wasatch Mountains, Bear River Range, and over towards the Western Uintas. This will hold until 6 a.m. tomorrow. We know that this snow wants to slide, and even with drying conditions as the storm exits, the danger sticks around. It's not a surprise an avalanche warning is in effect. Check out these mountain snow totals since Saturday. Monumental numbers, 49 inches at Snowbird, breaking their all-time record, 48 inches at Alta, 38 Powder Mountain Canyons, getting 39 inches. Unbelievable totals here, more than three feet. Snow Basin at 36, Cherry Peak getting 27, more than two feet at Brighton, Solitude at 20, Deer Valley, Brian Head getting almost a foot and a half. So this storm system coming in, it was cold. It's bringing this April snow and it's stacking up. So much so that we were snow blowing the deck in Woodland Hills. Thanks to Peggy for sending it this hour away. 18 inches of snow in Woodland Hills. Utah County bench is just one of the areas getting this winter wallop as we're in the spring. 25 inches in Logan. These are storm totals since Saturday, and a few areas will continue to go up because more snow's out there. 24.6 near Lake Town. Bountiful bench, 20.4 inches. And it's still snowing in that area and lake effect expected overnight. 16.2 in the Mill Creek spot, almost 15 and a half in Sandy, over a foot on the northeast Ogden bench, Spanish Fork in that arena. 10.3 at Salt Lake International, record today, nine inches in Tooele, eight and a half in Lehigh. And we know Salt Lake International picked up more than 10 upper avenues, 16 Salt Lake County getting hit. Look at the snowpack numbers here, incredibly healthy. And when you look at these numbers, these percents stick out. Eastern Utah at 282% of average. So is the Southwest Desert, 331% of normal in the southwest corner of the state. It's a lot of snow. And as we warm up, that's going to melt pretty quickly. 206% for the entire state. We broke the all-time record today, jumping above the flood year of 1983. 29.4 inches for the snow water equivalent. If you melted all the snow, that would be the depth of the water. Unbelievable. Broke a temperature record today, 33 for the high in Salt Lake. We barely made it above freezing and dropped a more than 100-year-old record. 30s for those highs along the Wasatch Front, 44 in St. George. 1918 was the last time we were in the 30s on this day. Back in 1918, we hit 37, 33 today. So not just snow records. Nope, we've got the cold. That holds on tonight for the Southwest Desert because in and around Zion National Park, hard freeze warning in effect. Laverkin, Springdale, temperatures in the mid-20s. Clearing skies in southern Utah, different story. In the north, our northwest flow gives you a really good idea of what we're seeing, and that's moving over the lake, that lake effect band setting up, and it's going to bring additional accumulation to Salt Lake, Davis, Utah County, and over towards Tooele. Looks like a fire hose when it comes on because we just get that consistent stream of snow, and that's going to stack up. And cold air's out there, so the impacts on the roads, it's going to happen quicker. Okay, here's the future cast giving you an idea of what to expect by 3 a.m. Central Utah still seeing snow, which is why the winter storm warning's in effect, and so does the north. As we zoom in, check out Ogden into Davis County by 5 a.m. Could be another rough morning commute with slushy conditions. Showers hold on but become more isolated by the afternoon and then late into the day and through Thursday high pressure takes control and we get a bit of a pattern shift ridge of high pressure bringing warming temperatures and dry skies but that's not before we get additional snow one to three for the areas underneath this lake effect band benches will do better mountains could see six to 12 eight to 16 possible additional snowfall in the cottonwoods wowza 30s for tomorrow another day unseasonably cold 40s in moab 30s in cedar city 50s in st george take a look at the warm-up i'm talking about in southern utah the 50s turn to 60s and then 70s how about easter sunday in the 80s yeah this is concerning because we just looked at the snowpack there pine valley mountains have a lot of snow and those temperatures really going to accelerate the melting 30s to 40s to 50s how about 60s for easter sunday this time next week we're talking about a record high today of 33 mm -hmm. next week on tuesday we're going to be 70, 70 degrees oh. hmm. wow. 70 degrees 
Because I just want to make sure you're paying attention. So, so well, it's it called Colossus, <laughs> that roller coaster ride. Yeah, it's like, like buckle in. Yeah. We are like, woo. Well, it's just, it's I mean, it makes me nervous, though, that we're going to get yeah. that warm. That yes, day. flooding yeah. concerns are real, and it's something, this is what we're talking about. We want to avoid the rapid right. warm-up. It's not looking good. We can't. Mm.